Hey everybody, got another video for you on the pike cichlid. This is a Venezuelan pike cichlid. There are a lot of different types of pikes out there. Some that are dwarfs that get maybe uh, two, three, four, six inches. There are some very large varieties that will get over a foot. Uh, the Venezuelan, um, you know, they vary, but it, it usually max out between 8 to 12 inches. Uh, this one is maybe 4, 5 inches. And uh, so far, you know, I've owned a few pikes. Uh, this Venezuelan, um, I'm really enjoying in terms of its activity. Pikes uh, sometimes can hide a lot or just kind of find a spot in the tank and hang out and not be very active. Uh, so far, I've had this fish for maybe about a month and it's grown quickly it's probably put on an inch in a month and it's been very active so i've really been appreciating um just that aspect of it um uh, i don't know all you know obviously like i said there's a lot of varieties out there so um in terms of parameters i know this venezuelan is is pretty darn hardy and um doesn't require a whole lot um in terms of like any kind of special water parameters uh, similarly with food, let's see if I can get him to come back out. Um, just now, as I say, of course, that they don't hide a lot, or at least this one doesn't hide a lot, but to my point, they do tend to hide. Um, so, yeah, um, no special water parameters, no special food. Uh, I have heard some pikes, they're, you know, they'll be, they're hard to get off of live food if you ever start them. But I think that's true for a lot of predatory fish. Like, don't ever start live food if you don't want to be committed to it long term. Um, but yeah, this, this guy eats readily. My cichlid pellets, my hikari, carnivore sticks, krill, bloodworms. And is, you know, a very easy eater um, as far as I can tell so far. Um... And they do well in communities, um, at least this one, you know, and again, it's com keeping a community cichlid tank, it's a total uh, roll of the dice in some ways, and in, in other ways, there's, you know, a lot of things you can, you can do to ensure greater success. You can't guarantee it. These are, you know, live animals that eat to survive and are fairly aggressive and territorial, but in terms of... Um, some of the greatest tips and tricks that I have, they're really basic. Um, the biggest tank you can afford and or store in your home. Uh, hiding spots are very important. You can see that I have a lot of places to go and hide if a fish is feeling um, threatened or is being chased or being attacked in one way or another. There are ways to get away. There's um, Sometimes it's called having... Um, lines of sight that are broken right so a fish can be on one side of this plant in the middle and on the other side and they don't see each other and you know that really helps sometimes especially when two fish are having issues uh, if they're seeing each if there's nothing in here no decor no plants no nothing and they're seeing themselves all the time and there's nowhere to hide you could you know obviously if one fish had out for another fish that would end pretty quickly uh, the other um, re two other things that I do, one is pretty common, which is um, overstocking, right? So I have a decent amount of fish in here. I, I'm going to get a few more, but having a lot of cichlids um, is very helpful in the sense of if one is being chased, there's a bunch of others that are going to distract the fish that's chasing. So it doesn't just chase one fish the whole, you know, it can't just literally just they're not smart enough to, to chase one fish continuously. Um, they get distracted, they see another fish, another flashy color, and then they move on to the next, and then they forget what they're doing. So having a lot of fish, it spreads out the aggression. So if you have a fish that is having a temper or has some attitude, there are times you have to get rid of that fish, you have to rehome it, give it to someone else with a bigger tank, or it's just gonna keep that fish in one tank. Um, but often, more fish uh, creates more opportunity for a peaceful cichlid community. So that's another trick. Um, the other one is keeping them well fed. As obvious as that may uh, seem, um, you gotta feed. The, and, and the reason I, I would say that, um, especially is there is a, a general um, concept out there, don't overfeed your fish. A lot of people are, are big on don't overfeed your fish. 
and there's a lot of good reasons for that. However, um, I'm not saying you should overfeed your cichlid community, but I definitely don't uh, think I definitely think you should not underfeed it. So finding that healthy balance is crucial. Um, and really, you know, I I try to keep them basically full, and you can tell when they're full. Their bellies are plump um, when they're full. And you can feel it out, but I have had communities like this where I'm not feeding adequately enough and they will find food. And that means that they're going to eat each other one way or another at some point. So it is really important that you're feeding well. Again, we don't want to overfeed. I do believe in that. Um, you know, that's going to be bad for the fish, bad for your water quality, which is also bad for your fish. Um, but it is important to make sure they have adequate food. You know, you have a little lemon jake and tapajos squaring up and see. Here comes a bigger dog to just break it up. Um, but yeah, so pike cichlids, they're really cool. One of my favorite things about them is just how elongated they are. They just are unique that way. They're long. It's kind of a um, the closest thing you can get to a snake head um, as far as pred uh, a long predator that has some attitude and that is beautiful and interesting. Um, there are some really beautiful varieties. This Venezuelan is beautiful to me, but they definitely get more striking with color and with size um but yeah so there's a bit on the pike cichlid and keeping a community tank of cichlids if you have any questions go ahead and drop them in the comments below happy to answer anything and um yeah look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks so much for watching and uh take care and there's the last shot